Hey y'all, this is Angela Holtz, Angela Holtz Designs. I wanted to go here and show you the finished album. Um, this has been a huge endeavor. It is super thick, and I know this thing weighs at least 10 pounds. As you can see, it's super thick. And uh, I want to remind y'all, I use the Gingham Garden uh, collection by My Mind's Eye. Absolutely love this collection. The only complaint I have is that I wish the paper packs had more than one sheet of each uh, paper because it took two paper packs, two packs of cardstock, um, all of the blue, the pink that I showed y'all before, and the peach cardstock. Also, it took me to have to order uh, more pattern paper, which was three. I ordered uh, 12 more sheets of paper. So that's the only complaint I have, but this collection is absolutely gorgeous. I loved it, and I was so excited to work with it. And I hope you all like how the album come out. As you know, it is fabric covered. This is a uh, uh, just a gingham checked fabric um and the album is covered in there like that and then on the front here i have this beautiful lace with a collection of flowers from my personal collection that complement um the collection as well this is one of the frank garcia domes and it has little it's like a little shaker thing in there so well let's open her up so when you open it up, you have a pocket here uh, to put stuff in, as you see there. Then this right here is just covering the uh, clear um, page here. Now, there's a lot of cool little openings and everything. Um, the chipboard pieces, these pieces are all part of the ephemera and the chipboard that come in the collection. Um, the ribbons and stuff are from my personal collection. So this is a magnetic closure. Then you have this beautiful little uh, piece here from the collection. Then you open it up and you have room for journaling or another picture. Then here you have pockets uh, for tags and everything. And uh, lace and pearls are a theme throughout this uh, book as well. Um, these are just simple little mats that you can put a picture on the front and write, write your message on the back. So there we go. That's page one. <clears throat> then you open to page two. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to put that foam right there. Okay, on page two, you have this little flap here that opens. And it has uh, been covered in the uh, canvas uh material that I have and I frayed the edges and this is a pocket of course with another cute little tag. Um, the tag is adorned with another chipboard piece from the collection. So you open this and you have this beautiful little mint ribbon just to give it some sass and then you have this little mechanism here which is super cute um, and it'll allow you to put pictures and all sorts of things you want on there as well. Oh, and I did mean, I forgot to mention that I did use um, the entire 6x6 six six paper pad, you know, doing stuff. So this closes. Then you grab the pink ribbon and you flip it up. And in this section here, you flip this. Of course, you have room for stuff. You have room for stuff here. This is uh, stamped. Um, mats to put photos using the uh, stamp set that come uh, with the collection. Love the stamp set. These are also a bunch of journaling cards that come with the collection as well. So all of that will go in there. Really nice like that. Then here I put just a little tag to save the date in case um, the lady wants to put it on um, a photo or something then here's three cute little tags that she can put uh, in various places these are from the sticker sheet and the paper collection comes with a pack of stickers if you buy the paper pack but if you buy individual um, you have to buy the stickers individually and they're right here across the bottom okay so those go in there so then this flips back down to help 
hold that. Then you're going to go right here. Uh, this opens like this. This one opens like this. And then you take them and you can open it like this. And you have all of that uh, stuff where you can write, put photos and everything. So it's a lot of room. This is another chipboard piece that says Forever Friend. I pop dotted it up to give it some dimension. These pieces here are part of the Ephemera collection as well. So this folds down and that is page two. Okay, page three is jammed packed. As you can see here, this is a magnetic open as well. Oh. I have to put that back on. I forgot to glue it on. Um, so in here, I've made just some various uh, mats. Now this is the six by six paper. I thought it would be super cute. Then here, lay that right there. Then you got this mat. You got this mat. And then you got all of these cute little mats that go in here. I'll do that one this way like so then this closes and I need to put my little sticker back on because I forgot to glue it so we'll do it right now while I'm chit chatting this away there we go there we go then you can slip something in here like this I made this little um, flip booklet like this you just open it up like this and you can put a picture and you have this in there it's super cute you can even give that as a card and here's some more mats with um, journaling area on the back and then here's another one that you can slip in and put it throughout the book the next page here is this flips up and then you have a mat here um, again, I left this for the person to put the date, and then you have these long bookmark tags that you can put, like a strip of those long photos that we get at the photo booths and everything, and, um, I put this down. This looks crooked, but I don't know. It just looks crooked, but it ain't crooked. I don't know. And then again, here is another one, and then again, you have a clear piece to help that what this is for basically a lot of people don't like it but what it's for is to stop like your your uh, raised embellishments from snagging on other embellishments on your other pages so that um you know nothing will get taken off or whatever now here are some tags i cut these out and i stamped them with the stamp set they go right there and then here's some more um, journaling cards be used throughout the book here great places for photos here I just made a, a tag and I put a little strip of uh, adhesive right here in case they want to just keep the tag there or they can use it to put the picture in it's just whatever and then here again I did that so what they could do is is I've done two pages like that so that they could take some of these and maybe want to put it in there or take a tag or something throughout the book so that you know it'll help them out and figure out how they want to decorate so you flip this over and then you flip this up which is magnetic which you see there and then in here I made some more mats using the ephemera cute cute here's a cute little tag that you can do and here's another mat just like this and then this flips down to secure everything really nice and hold it in there then this page here I used some of the cloth that we used on the cover of the book um, I frayed the edges uh, to give it that frayed country look and then this right here is a magnetic closure as well and then what this is this is just like a an extra picture 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 and you flip it picture picture and tons and tons of room to put photos and stuff and then when you open it like this it says the best days so super cute this is just a standard um i, I just kept it simple with this page um i added in uh 
I didn't glue everything uh, down so they could slip a picture underneath here and underneath the bird. Um, if they want, then you flip over to this page. This is a magnetic closure. And then right here, again, you have journaling cards and then another little uh, book. And this time I left it plain. Okay. And then that goes in there. And then over here, a uh, picture, 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 picture. And then inside here, you have another pocket for picture and ephemera and whatever it is you want to put in here. Okay. Then that closes with a magnetic closure to keep everything solid. This right here is uh, another flip out um, piece. Up here is a pocket and it has more ephemera and it has tags and everything that you can use throughout the book. Here you have two more mats that can go underneath there. I used the dots from the paper collection. This is another chipboard piece and this is the stickers and some ephemera uh, from the collection. And I love this. It just says sunshine. <laughs> it's very country. And then this, of course, is also magnetically closed. So... There we go, just like that. And then you flip this one over. And I like this one, it flips up and you have a spot for a photo. And then inside here, you have a pocket where you have two more mats that you can play with and put photos and stuff. Also, you can store stuff in there and it is this magnetic closure as well. Then on the back of the page, um, I'm you untie it like this. And then this is a travel journal that I decorated with more journaling cards. And then inside you have a place to uh, write about anything you want to write about. And then I made the pocket on the front of this able to hold that. And then when you open this up, it pops open to this fabulous little page. And you can put pictures and all sorts of things in there that you want. And then you just close it down and you tie it back with the matching beautiful peach colored double satin ribbon just like that and that my friends is the my mind's eye gingham gardens album so there you go all right so if you have any questions, let me know, but stay for detailed photos because you wouldn't want to miss them. And thank you all for watching my pre-recorded videos showing you how I've been building on this book and everything. And I do hope it gives you inspiration to make your own. And I want to give a thanks to My Mind's Eye for coming out with a beautiful collection. And I appreciate it. And thank you so much. Bye.